Ladies and gentlemen, it's not easy to pull up an event like this. It is not easy for one man to gather a team and bring this much Africans and African Americans and Americans into the building. Right now, to the man of the show, the man of the hour, the reason why we enter playing from different parts of the world to come here tonight. When I introduce him, I need you to get up on your feet. Because as far as I'm concerned, in my whole 10 years of doing hosting and comedy in America, no Nigerian in America has put up a show like this. Right about this minute, ladies and gentlemen, I'm about to introduce your own Houston made Houston, half brought up Houston, coordinating Houston, best MC, best comedian. Ladies and gentlemen, please, DJ Mixmaster, if you're ready, let us get up on our feet and welcome the one and only MC PC. Where well, MCPC? Yeah, so hey, Jambo, your father, your father, MCPC, my soul. They are looking for you everywhere. Don't worry, you're about to see him now. iPhone one, iPhone two, iPhone three, iPhone four, iPhone five, iPhone six. My brother deserves some accolades. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, oh my, it's about to go down now. It's about to go down now. So, ten million for my moto. Oh, we don't go down in Shomato. I want to go to the house. I want to go to me. house. I want to go to the house. I want to go to the I want to go to the Please, a round of applause for him, please. Yes, yeah, so. Thank you. If you're happy to be alive, please make some noise. Oh, boy, this actually wear this thing. It's tight to it. Don't let me walk very well. So, pardon me if you see me walking like this. I want to say thank you so much for coming out this evening to celebrate our mothers. If you know that you were giving birth to by a mother, please, a round of applause for all the mothers in this place. Whoa, that is a gentleman. This is I'm so I'm so excited that you all came out to celebrate this wonderful Mother's Day because I believe all mothers deserve to be celebrated. Um, real quick, I, I just I just got back from Nigeria. Clap, clap. I went and I came back. <laughs> Have you found out that there's a difference between traveling to Traveling with the Nigerian passport with visa and traveling with the American passport. Oh, my brother, there's a difference. <laughs> you know, whenever I used to travel with my Nigerian passport with, Ni with American visa, I used to hear the immigration officer tell the Americans, welcome home. I begin to wonder, when will I ever hear welcome home? Ladies and gentlemen, as soon as I got my U.S. passport, I bought a ticket to Australia for no reason. God punish money. I went there, I charged my phone, I came back the next day. <laughs> At the port of entry, as you know, as a fellow America, you know, and now I have paper, you know. I saw the immigration. This is my colleague, we are fellow Americans. And I was talking to him. You know, if you have if you have the Nigerian passport, they interview you, you know. But if you have the American passport, you have conversation, you know. I was asking, how, how are you doing? How's your job? How's your wife? Is she nagging you? Uh, we would do something about it. And I said, where are you coming from? I said, I'm coming from Australia. I said, for what? I said, I wanted to charge my phone. <laughs> That's good. And after all of that, he said, my brother, welcome home. I said, what did you say? I went back to the line. I did a slow motion move. I said, my brother, say that thing again. He said it 10 times. And um, have you found out that uh, in this country, women are powerful? Women, please clap for women again. I beg, I beg. <laughs> women. <laughs> women are powerful that's all i can say have you realized that in this country as a man you are the one paying mortgage if you misbehave you can end up in the garage all night <laughs> this country it's only in this country that a woman can slap a man the man cannot retaliate especially if the man does not have immigration papers <laughs> there's one of my friends 
this guy marry, you know, now he marry one Lakeisha <laughs> for papers. You know, that God created, God created some people as someone, you know, they're very slim, they be like one, someone. And God created some people as some, bo, somebody. <laughs> some, somebody. <laughs> you know, the some is community, you know. <laughs> you know, if you're looking for paper, you can marry anything, my brother. All you are caring for is paper. You know, one of my friends, Yoruba boy Ola, married one of those uh, community. I mean, there's uh, a cop I mean, someone. <laughs> you know, I was in business. You know me, I'm always supposed to. My head, allow me there, kiss me. I said, yeah. Who is kissing in the streets? So they got my attention. So I told Apparently, Lakisha had told her friends that, you know, she is in love with Allah Mide, And, you know, here in America, ladies like, you know, display of affection. You know, like in Niger. Nigerian men, we don't like kissing. Even in the room, not talk about outside though. We don't kiss anyhow. Some of you men here, the last time you kissed your wife was uh, in the church when the pastor said you may not kiss your bride. <laughs> Even when we kiss, we, Nigerian men, we don't kiss. We eat lips around. <laughs> Wicked people. So I saw this lady and so Olamide kissed me. Olamide, who is a very village boy from uh, Oyo. The man was so confused. He looked left, looked right, looked front, looked back and saw me. He said, my brother, help me. I said, no, help yourself. Oh, me, I have my papers. <laughs> Olamide refused to kiss. The Kisha only said one thing, just because of kissing. Olamide kissed me. Olamide kissed me. He refused. The Kisha just said two things. He said, Olamide, green card. <laughs> You know what that means, 25,000, you know. By the end of the day, it is beautiful to have every woman here in the house. I respect women. I'm going to take you through a list of men that women ended their career before they started. I don't know if I remember Alma Cain or Republican Party way back, the first time Obama ran. All right? He wanted to run for election. Two women came out that he poked, I mean, he did something with them. All right? <laughs> did he run for election? He did not run. Who is it? Bogri. They Google it. Bogri. Is he, you know what I'm talking about. All right. I don't know if I remember um, the, no, Donald Trump is too far. Arnold Schwarzenegger. You remember Arnold Schwarzenegger? Uh, that one, uh, a kite house girl. I run things with <laughs> A whole governor. A kite. Women are powerful. A whole governor who can buy a village of girls. Come on, a kite. I'm sure she was sweeping one day. And a whole governor saw a kite sweeping. And that was the end of his career. Of all, remember, if we get, let's take it back to the Bible. Something in the Bible, the man who can destroy this whole temple with one hand, he took just Peruvian hair and Brazilian hair. For <laughs> you know, you women, if they give you Peruvian hair and Brazilian, you can do anything. So, Sam say, What is the secret of your power? Is it not my hell? That was the end of his career. The one I don't like at all. If I make it to heaven, I will slap him. Adam, I don't like that man. Adam, if not because of Adam, I will not be hustling by now. We'll just chill in the house. We'll just day. No Walmart, no overtime, no insurance, no, no hustling. Because God created, you know, all of us and placed us in the garden. What? Eat buff buff. Eat chin chin. Eat mango. Play with goat. Finish. That was the job. Eat tomato. Eat okra. Eat tapioca. Finish. But Adam, M, I mean, W, for wisdom. W for women. M for men. M for what? Now you talk so it's not me. I was not there. Somebody say Mumu. Your husband is there, you say Mumu. <laughs> so Adam was just chilling in the garden of Eden. Chilling. The man who gets sense at all. That's why the women they are very wise. That's a woman can tell a man who will make it in 20 years from today. So Adam was just there chilling. He didn't know no sense. The Adam, if just say, hmm, hmm, hmm. I can imagine Adam as a Yoruba man. Adamu, you know, Adam, Adamu. And the man got big belly, say, hmm, my husband, Adam, is here, offer. He said, hmm, hmm, hmm. If you lick, look at this fruit. If you eat it, you will shine eye. Adam said, eh, hey, bring it. The man ate, we are naked, though. And that's the reason why we're hustling today. Please, one more time, put your hands together for all the ladies in this house. Real quick, I came into this country uh, 2009 from England. <laughs> God bless the country. Oh, Lord. London is the only place where you have a master's degree. You are working as a security officer. Proudly. We hear me. 
three years as a security officer in London with my master's degree. Proudly. I children's has a way of embarrassing someone. They just ask you, my brother, what do you do for a living? They just ask you, what do you do for a living? But you cannot just say security. You have to put some respect on my job. You know, put some respect on it. So they always ask me, what do you do for a living? I say, uh, me? He say, yes. I say, uh, we are environmental surveillance specialists. <laughs> Is that not what security people do? They survey the environment and they make sure there's nobody stealing, right? And I came into this country and uh, I realized that there are different worlds of stuff, you know, in America. I never knew. So when I came here, you know, everything in England is very tight. Their roads are tight. The economy is tight. Their houses are small. Even the guests, very stingy, you know. Their clothes, very tight too. So I came here with my English tight suit. One of my American friends walked up and said, PC, I like your pant. I said, the blood of Jesus. <laughs> you know, Nigeria, panty is in a department. Uh -huh. You don't just shy pant anyhow. If you shy pant Nigeria, you'll get an audience, you know. I said, my brother, which pants are you seeing? He said, this one. I said, no, 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 no. You where I come from? We don't. What do you call this in Nigeria? Hey, hey. I said, what do you call pants? I said, when I found that you people call it, here in America, we call it pen. In Nigeria, what do we call it? Buy road. All right? I found out here in America, we call it restroom. In Nigeria, what do we call it? Who said latrine? Were you born in 1945? Somebody said latrine. And I found out here in America, we call it if you want to take some phone home, we we'll call it to go box. In Nigeria, what do we call it? No wonder they're taking our money away, eh? Bori is coming, uh, coming after all of you. Finally, here in America, we we'll call it uh, elementary school. In Nigeria, what do we call it? We we'll call it high school here in Nigeria. What do we call it? I will call it SUV in America. In Nigeria, what do we call it? Every SUV in Nigeria is a Jeep. I didn't know that Jeep was a brand of SUV until I came here. This one, I almost slapped somebody. I, the first birthday party that I attended, somebody walked up to me and said, PC, do you care for a bottle of soda? I said, my brother, your enemies will drink soda. <laughs> you know, soda is the one you used to wash clothes those days. In America, here in Nigeria, what do we call it? Minera. It's either Ghost Spot or Limca, Coke or Fanta. Now, here in America, we call it weed, aka marijuana. In Nigeria, what do we call it? I didn't suspect you since you. The way Shadai go. <laughs> you know, let's put our hands together for this wonderful country of America. It's been great, you know. I God blessed me with a beautiful daughter. She's, she's, she, she. I gave birth to her. Okay, me and my wife. Okay, not me now. Yeah. You know, when a woman is pregnant, the man too is pregnant. You know, you know. So we gave birth to her, and now she's ten years old. She's never been to Nigeria before. All she knows is London and America. So recently, she walked up to me and said, "Daddy," I said, "Yes." He said, "Can you sing some school rhymes for me?" I said, "Baby, be careful what you ask for." Because you are attending elementary school. We, we went to primary school. Say that is thing for me. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a song that I sang for her two days ago. Even up to now. She's somewhere here now. She's still crying. If you know this song, sing with me. I remember this song. There are two black birds sitting on the wall. Let's go. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. Villagers. Yes. And so I thought I was a little So all of us here were all villagers here. Yeah? How did you get visa to enter this country? And that I said, Daddy, please stop. So, oh, you remind me of this. I remember this one there. Only day is for me. Yes. Guys are certified village guests with your Mary Kay. Say, Daddy, please stop, stop. I said, No, I'm a rich man. Wish can soup your mama kuko. Una father. The word that I made that cry was this one. Uh, oh, Roger is dead and Gonto is grave. That's, that's enough. That's enough. Okay, tell me how can you be a doctor with hoo -wah, hoo -wah, hoo -wah. Hoo -wah, hoo -wah. That's why some of you could not become doctor, including me. You know, it's beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, um, Donald Trump, I'm mean, gonna first saw uh, Buari signing some paper at the White House. <laughs> Only gonna know what I'm gonna know. <laughs> Please hold your passport title. Whether I'm gonna sold Nigeria to China now, we woke up tomorrow's the Federal Republic of China in Nigeria. <laughs> Chief, you can't go back home. <laughs> so please, let's be very careful. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, um, 
I am super excited. I don't know what to say again. I'm, I, I'm so overwhelmed. I want to say thank you to all, all my VIP people. Come on, all the VIP clap, 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 clap. You know, it's in Barrett in the building. You know, my people. Uh, I'm praying that those of us, the regular, the Lord, I, can you hear me at the back? The Lord will so bless you. You move to VIP next year. Now, those of you in the VIP, the Lord will so bless you, you move to the VVIP. Then those of you in the VVIP, the Lord will so bless you, you move to the stage. <laughs> Where else do you want to go? <laughs> you know? But at this time, ladies and gentlemen, not to take too much of time because I have so many great friends that have come to celebrate and to put this project together to celebrate mothers. Um, I'm going to host, I'm going to continue, because you know I'm a comedian, I'm also I'm an MC, I um, also produce event. I want to, at this time, please help me to put your hands together for my team. I, I believe they did a great job. Please, if you know that you enjoy what you've seen so far, put your hands together for my team. Every one of them. All right.